Local parents venting frustration over cuts in their children's schools. Teachers may lose their jobs, and those who stay may be teaching more students with less planning time. Every last penny counts, so tonight KXAN investigates the salaries being paid to school superintendents. Our Nancy Wilson examined the contracts for every superintendent in our viewing area. And Nancy, what did you find out? Well, Robert, I'll tell you what. We found several examples of superintendents receiving benefits that teachers do not. Among them, salaries more than six times what the average teacher earns. Save our schools! Save our schools! While Martin Benavides and Mark Holscher were fighting to keep their kids' school open, they were shocked to learn what local superintendents earn. The base salary for Austin superintendent is $283,000. Round Rock ISD, $252,000. Eanes, $231,000. Absolutely doesn't make sense. That's crazy. I think these kids are a lot more important than anybody's salary. Those salaries are just the beginning. Dozens of local superintendents are cashing in on thousands of dollars in supersized benefits, like $1,000 a month car allowances. That's how much superintendents from Austin, Leander, and Georgetown get every month. It's crazy. Car allowance. That's crazy. AISD board president Mark Williams says it does make sense. I, I can see how that attracts some attention, but part of the reason for the car allowance, at least particularly in a district like ours, we have 110 schools. We ask her to go to the schools. We ask her to visit the schools. She's traveling every day to some place. But big car allowances aren't just a big district perk. Elgin ISD has six campuses, and its superintendent's car allowance, $661 a month. Bastrop ISD gets $650 a month. LaGrange, $550. Even though Florence and Gerald ISDs only have three schools, their superintendents get a car allowance of $500 a month. So do Burnett, Liberty Hill, and Dripping Springs ISD superintendents. Ains ISD superintendent Nella Wellman's base salary is $231,000. On top of that, the district gives her an extra $31,500 retirement account, nearly $3,000 to pay for a life insurance policy, a $5,000 yearly bonus, and $10,000 for expenses she doesn't have to justify. Add it all up and she's making at least $280,000. Wellman also gets another retirement account. In 2009, it totaled more than $41,000. According to her contract, when teachers get a raise, so does Wellman. Same goes for AISD Superintendent Maria Kerstoffen. So if the rest of the staff gets a raise, she gets a raise. If they don't, she doesn't. And I think that seems like it makes it fair because she's in there with everybody else. Some superintendents have guaranteed raises built into their contract. Thrall superintendent got a 6% raise this year. And in Marble Falls, the interim superintendent's daily pay jumped by a third. In January, the Bastrop ISD board learned of a potential multi-million dollar budget shortfall, yet it gave Superintendent Steve Murray a $20,000 raise and approved another $10,000 to be paid March 1st. The very next week, Murray issued this memo warning of deep cuts, including possible furloughs and layoffs. While other employees' pay is frozen, Murray's salary jumped to $208,000. I'd rather save on, on some salaries like that, that are these huge, you know, salaries. Keep these schools open. Keep these schools going. One of the perks that most surprised Benavides, Pflugerville ISD is paying their superintendent $30,000 to get his doctorate degree. Why are they taking money to do that? Should that not have been something, you know, a requirement when they first hired him? Other unusual benefits that are not part of salaries reported to the Texas Education Agency? Personal security when requested for the LaGrange ISD superintendent and his family. All expenses paid trip for the wife of Maynard ISD superintendent when he travels. Weeks of extra paid vacations for superintendents in Round Rock, Lake Travis and Leander in addition to spring break and winter break. Other popular perks, hundreds of thousands of dollars in life insurance policies, and even more set aside as extra retirement benefits. Some have special savings account and others paid memberships to private clubs. School board members we talked to acknowledge compensation packages may seem excessive, but say attracting talented leaders for a complex job is worth the cost. And, and I agree you have to pay a lot for good talent, but there, there has to be a limit. I don't know if anybody's worth that kind of money. If, it, if you're carrying cancer, you're worth that kind of money. Now, districts are supposed to post a copy of their superintendent's contract online, but we found many don't. We also found that many contracts are written in a way that when you have a copy, it's nearly impossible to tell exactly how much superintendents are actually paid. Now, we've made it easier for you by asking the questions and putting it all together in one place. If you want to see what your superintendent really makes, Look for this report under investigation section of KXAN.com. Live in the studio, Nancy Wilson, KXAN Austin News.